These, my friend, are, they're, they're sort of retro, but just classic at the same time. A little LV, some Fendi sunglasses, and an unexpected Dior tote. Today I'm recapping what I got for Christmas, some items I gifted myself, and some were from my husband Shay. Happy New Year, happy 2024. I hope your year is off to a lovely start. I really enjoy watching these videos and I hope that you'll enjoy watching this one. Let us know down below if you have any of these items, what you currently think of them, do you love them, do you hate them, do you recommend them? Or could some of these items potentially be on your list for 2024? So let's get to it. In no particular order, starting with this Stanley Tumblr. I will tell you, I honestly had legit no idea that there was such a craze over these Stanley mugs. I got my first one last spring or summer, I think when I was just out and about one day at Target and I saw one that was in like an opaque or like a neutral color. And it is not a shock that I picked that up because as my husband would say, I have an addiction or I have a problem, but I really don't. I just have an amazing taste for really nice water bottles and tumblers. Um, I've had the BKR, I've had Hydro Flask, and when I saw the Stanley in the neutral color, I thought, hey, this is pretty cool. And the other really cool thing about the Stanley is that it comes with a straw. And statistics show and prove that if you have a straw, you are more likely to drink or you're going to drink more from the item if you have a straw. So I like that cup that I got back in the summer. And when a friend of mine shared this one, I could not resist myself. If you are not aware you can Google this, you can find YouTube videos, even TikTok videos where ladies have been fighting over these mugs. Now, not this one. They've been fighting, I think, over the collaborative tumbler that Starbucks, Stanley, and Target did, I believe. I might be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I think they did this collaboration because they are in different shades of pink for Valentine's Day and people have been fighting over them and they've been lining up at two, three, four o'clock in the morning to get into Target to get these mugs. Uh, ladies, that's crazy. We should never do that. And again, I had no idea that that was going on. That is not why I got this. My friend shared this, I was influenced. And when I saw it, I fell in love. This straw is even dark as well, kind of coordinating, if you will, with the black and gold, but it's just really pretty and I will say what I really love about the Stanley cup is that because it goes slender and by the way Stanley is not new Stanley's been around forever in a day um, they've just kind of revamped themselves they've done a really great job at marketing but nevertheless I really like them because they do go slender down towards the bottom so it fits very well in the cup holder in my car and I love this handle right here so it makes it very easy to carry I don't know if this one's still available because I did get it back in December but if it is and you are interested I will link it down below because it is really pretty and it is very chic and it really goes with my outfit which I did not plan before I share all of these Baccarat items in this bag right here I did want to share this bottle here this was not purchased in December it was actually purchased back in October, November. My husband actually gave me this for my birthday and he started out with the really large size, which I loved and obviously certainly appreciated. But my fear was with the larger size, which is huge. And if you are into the larger sizes, you definitely get your bang for your buck with that larger size. And that's certainly what he was thinking. My fear was I didn't want to hold on to it for a long period of time and then maybe it spoil or go to the bad. So I prefer the smaller size for that reason, but also this is easier for me to hold. The larger bottle really is significantly bigger and this one's just easier to hold, but this one is the Gentle Fluidity. I have been utilizing the Maison Francis or Maison Francis. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, but I've been using this for years. Before this brand was very popular and very well known, I've been utilizing this. Um, this one though is new to me, the Gentle Fluidity. I have not had that before. Old packaging, I believe it was gold, and now it's kind of, or the liquid was gold, if you will, and now it's purple. But this one is kind of on the, 
sweeter side. It reminds me of one of the Louis Vuitton fragrances. I cannot remember what it is because I'm not well versed in the Louis Vuitton fragrances, but I've tried a couple of those and so far they've been a little too strong for me but I like how they smell, especially when you walk into the boutique. But this, actually just kidding, this item is not in that bag, but I wanted to go ahead and share it first because I have been utilizing this already. But this is the Baccarat Rouge 540 in the lotion. This is a revamp. I have had a bottle of this before and went through the entire bottle, but the old bottle had a, I think it was just like a screw top lid or a flip top if you will and the bottle itself the bottle itself was not malleable at all and so it was very difficult to get the lotion out and it was really a pain to be quite honest so now the bottle itself is much softer you can actually squeeze it and then it has the pump on the top and the pump works really well it comes out super easily i will tell you that this does not smell as strong or it's not as heavily scented as the perfume if you will but it does work really good for layering purposes. It is very light, it's not a thick, and let me see if I can put a little bit here so you guys can see, and my hands are quite dry. But if you can see that right here, it's not very thick. Let me put this down. It's not very thick, it's very, very lightweight, but the really great thing about it, because it is so lightweight, is that it absorbs quickly into the skin. It's not one that sits on top, leaving that greasy residue or tacky feeling. It's really, really lightweight. Um, it's one that just goes on super easily. I think that, you know, if your skin's really dry right now, it's probably not going to be the absolute best in terms of moisturization. It's going to help in terms of like layering the fragrances so that it lasts longer but it's certainly one that during the summer, if you don't need as much moisturization, it's going to be absolutely perfect for that. But I've already started wearing it and I started wearing it and I truly do love it. It does smell so good and it is definitely going to work in terms of layering. So now let's get to the other wonderful things that are in this bag to layer with the lotion. So these items I actually picked up from Neiman Marcus and the representative there that I work with is so sweet. She packaged it all up so nice and pretty for me and I have not opened this yet. I was saving it for this video. So let's get this paper and get the fun things out. Okay, and then there is a beautiful box on the inside. I just love their packaging this past Christmas. Can't wait to see what they do. This is the first time actually that I've gotten something during the holiday season. So this is the first time I've had any type of packaging from there. So it'll be interesting to see what they do year after year. Here's the beautiful box and then on the inside. And by the way, this was not a kit. She put this together for me. They don't typically, I think they did have some kits, but nothing like what you're about to see on the inside here. They might've had some smaller items and maybe in some of the other fragrances, not 100% um, sure. I know by the time I did pick this up, a lot of things were already gone. Case in point, with this right here, this is the Baccarat Rouge 540, as well as the shower gel. And what I mean by case in point, this was the last shower gel at the time when I got it. I don't even know, I think she said at the time they probably were not getting any more in. I'm sure they have more now because we're almost nearing Valentine's Day, which is absolutely bonkers. But this is the shower gel and I have never tried this before. So I am super, super stoked about this one. I'm gonna be trying this probably tomorrow since I've now unboxed this and filmed it. But again, it's great for, I think, layering, using the shower gel and then the lotion and then finishing everything off with the perfume. This perfume I have been using for years. I think I shared this in a previous video, maybe, but many, many years ago when I was at a conference, there was, who's now a friend of mine, wearing this. I somewhat, kind of before we became friends, semi-stalked her because she smelled so good. I had to know what she had on, and it was this. And I have a really hard time with the fragrances. I don't wear a ton. I don't have anything else other than the two I've just shown you and perhaps maybe one more in a moment I'm about to reveal. But this, I don't care how saturated it is. I don't care that everybody now is wearing it. It is very popular. It doesn't matter. It works with my 
body chemistry. It's very soft, it's very subtle. Hey ladies, by the way, if you are new here, my name is Heather. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where the focus is on when you style well, you live well. Bringing you weekly insight and inspiration on investment pieces to help you elevate your style. Stick around, subscribe, hit that like button, and comment down below letting me know what you want to hear more of or simply say hello. Up next is this fun little new eyeshadow from Chantecai. This is a brand that I absolutely adore. I have been utilizing this brand for years. They have really good ingredients and all of the proceeds from this particular makeup line here or this particular product, these eyeshadows, if you will, they are based around endangered species. So all of the proceeds or a portion of the proceeds, if you will, go to helping those endangered species. So I already have quite a collection of these. I absolutely adore the packaging. This one, as you can see here, is the zebra, and they all are a luminescent or a very shimmery eyeshadow, if you will. I'm actually wearing this one already today, so yes, I have unboxed it and I have utilized it. I love it. It is absolutely beautiful. If you can see the color there, I hope it's going to show up accurately on camera, but hopefully you're seeing this on my lids as well. The uh, wonderful thing about these also in terms of how they work and how they perform, you can wear them dry, which gives just a very light shimmer, if you will, and then you can actually apply them wet. And if you apply them wet, obviously they're more intense, but it gives more of that metallic deep finish, if you will. So you really get your bang for your buck with what you can do with these little fun eyeshadows. And the packaging is just adorable. You cannot go wrong. These these are so fun. Where are my girls at that love statement sunglasses? These Fendi sunglasses have been on my radar. I didn't share them really with you guys, but they have been on my radar for quite some time. The hubby knew that, so he surprised me with these. These are in a cute little puffer bag. I've heard a few people say that they don't really care for this little puffer bag. I don't mind it. I think it just gives a very cool vibe. It actually, it makes me think of my Chanel 19. If you guys can see that there, definitely gives the puffer squishy vibe, if you will. A really cool gold buckle and it does say, oh, this is really nice. It actually says Fendi right there on the little gold clasp or the gold clip, if you will. But here we go. These, <laughs> these glasses are such a, they're such a vibe. They're sort of retro, but classic at the same time. They definitely are a vibe. These are hands down diva shades. They, they really are. But what I love about these in particular is the gradient lens really went well, or they go well with my skin tone. They do have a black, gradient in this lens as well or this set of frames but i already have several pair of black sunglasses not to say that i won't add more but i just thought these would look really chic year round but also like spring and summer these are these are going to be my go-to's i have that feeling already we have the official paperwork here let's get to the little fun item look how cute that packaging was for December. I always like to see what the brands come out with year after year, but this one I feel like so far has been one of my favorites over the last several years. Very, very classic and it's simple. I think several years ago they did one that was uber colorful and while it was pretty, it just wasn't necessarily my speed, it was too busy. I like how classic, timeless this one is. All right, here we go, ooh la la. We love our little Louis Vuitton. So you can tell this is an SLG by its size. And this is so cute. Yes, I've seen it. I had to look at this to make sure it was okay, but I've not used it. And this is the small mini Capucines wallet. I think this is actually called extra small, maybe, but it is the, the smallest one in the Capucines 
um, SLG collection for the wallets. Darker on the inside. I wanna say, it's not really like chocolate brown because it almost has like that gray, kind of gray, a little plummy undertone to it. But you definitely have several card slots here, here. You have your ability to put your bills right there. I think all in all there is one, two, three, yeah, just four card slots. But I think this is perfect because this is the great size to have when you just need your essential cards. You have the little coin place here on the front as well. The only thing to keep in mind with this one, I don't know if the zipper goes, no, it doesn't go all the way across. It stops, but that doesn't really bother me. I think that it just, it keeps it very slender and very slim, but I love this. I think she is a beauty. This leather is absolutely stunning. It is one that definitely will hold up. And I don't know, maybe this is, you know, some foreshadowing or a little hint, hint of maybe what's to come in 2024. Who knows? We'll see. But if the mini capucines that I have talked about before, if that were to make it into my collection, this certainly would make a great little pair, a great little mate for the mini capucines. One of my absolute favorite items that I picked up and ordered in December was this two piece set from Spanx. And when I tell you I love this, I love it. You can count on me. When I tell you I love something, I'm serious because I am so picky and it takes me a while to really decide on items. I don't add, especially clothing items too, I don't add things frivolously to my wardrobe. I take my time and I make sure that it's great quality before I add it. And this is absolutely amazing. I hope that it's showing up. This is an outfit that I really believe would look amazing on anybody. It is a two piece set. It is a uh, partial zip here. I don't want to move this cause I'm afraid that it will mess up the sound, but it does zip. Uh, so you can, can, you can lower it more than what I have, or you can zip it further up. It kind of has, it has this collar that you can see right here that's kind of wide. This just looks very, very chic and very elegant. And that's what I like about it. I think that I've gotten stuck in a rut with wearing, you know, just my Louis Vuitton for Aaron running or even around the house. And I've decided that need to step outside the box of athleisure wear of just Lululemon. Now I love it. As you're gonna see in a moment, I have a few items from Lululemon. This is one that I feel like is really chic. You could really dress this up if you wanted to and it feels amazing. It feels like butter on the skin. Now there are no pockets in this set right here, but it's just so flattering. The legs on this are more of like a wide straight leg. So very, very flattering on almost any leg type. I, for reference, am about 5'4". I got this in the petite size because I had read reviews on it and it's perfect for what I want to wear it with. I want to wear it with sneakers. Speaking of sneakers, let me show you this pair that I intend to wear with this. This is the pair, I'd, I actually picked this pair up in December as well. These are the Samba Adidas sneakers. And I just thought, take a look at that. Isn't that gonna look so nice and so cool? And so that's why I got it in petite because these are already, the, the pants are already the perfect, perfect length. If you are anything above 5'4", don't get the petite because it's going to be too short. You still may need to have them altered and tailored and hemmed, but it would be so worth it because this is an outfit. I'm telling you, you would be wearing this over and over again, but getting your cost per wear. It's one that I can bet you money that I'm going to be adding another set in a different color. I have been a Lululemon girl, Lululemon fan for as long as I can remember. I have items in my closet that are 10 plus years old because I have taken care of them and they've held up. I've washed them on cold, I air dry them, and they still work. They've now come out with this cropped version of the scuba hoodie and it's also more on the oversized or kind of oversized if you will and it's cropped so it got a gray one and then also a black one i always really like on the scuba hoodie um where is it I, yeah i always think it's really cool that they put the lululemon logo right there on the back of the hoodie i just think they look nice um and like i said they hold up really well and then last but not least 
is the, this is the Wonder Puff Cropped Vest. And I think I thought this would look really good underneath some of the long sleeve tops that I already have from Lululemon. But then there's also another top that I completely forgot that I picked that up in December. I'll share that in a future video because it's a really great one. It's still current, but I saw someone the other day, I didn't even think about it, but I saw someone the other day that had it layered underneath a vest like this and it looked so chic. So I'm gonna recreate that, but I will share that top in another video as well. But these are the fun new pieces from Lululemon. Can't go wrong, it works, so if it isn't broke, you don't fix it. I almost forgot, I did pick up these little earrings here. These are from Anthropology. They are obviously not real, they are costume jewelry, and I've never been the biggest fan of that, but I saw these and I did think that they looked really nice and sophisticated and chic, so I wanted to pick those up, and I got them on sale. I'm not sure if they are still current. I will definitely look, and if you're interested in these, I will make sure to link these down below also. Joe Malone is not new to me. There are a couple of fragrances that I do really like. They don't tend to last as long, but they are nice, and some of them are subtle. The stronger, more intense ones, I cannot handle. There's one that came out years ago. I feel like it was oat and something. It kind of had like a white and gray bottle, I think. It was like gray, like almost concrete at the bottom. I know it wasn't concrete, but it kind of had that kind of texture and feel to it. This is a fragrance that is new by Joe Malone. I do not know if this is still around. It is one that I had no idea. It also went viral also. I'm gonna get to it. Um, I'm sorry that I'm rambling. I did wanna show that they did send me some samples. I have not tried this. This is Tuberose Angelica, so this is new. We'll give it a whirl. And then there's one more. That's Peony and Blush Suede. This one I have and I, well I don't have it, but I have tried it and I can wear that one. It's not my absolute favorite, but I certainly can wear it. It's soft, it's not really crazy. But this one, again, it went viral. I had no idea that that was going on. I waited kind of late in the game to realize that this was so good and it is the Ginger Biscuit. And if you are like me, if you have a hard time with fragrances, and if you like fragrances that are softer, they're more subtle, they're more on the gourmand side of things, sweet, this is the bomb. It is so good. I caught a whiff of it one day, kind of by accident. I think it was the Neiman's, no joke. I was looking at some other things and I kind of caught a whiff of that and I was like, wait, what is this? And I wanted to, to smell it and obviously try it out and I put it on my wrist and I left because I wanted to see how it would do. I, I never buy fragrances without testing them out first because one, they gotta work with the body chemistry and two, you don't wanna get a headache. But I could not stop sniffing my wrist all the way home and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Well, <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere. Cause like I said, it had gone viral, no clue that that was going on and I couldn't find it. Fortunately, I think it was Bloomingdale's cause Neiman was, was completely out. They didn't have any, I think that day was all they had was the tester bottle. So I'm not sure why that was still out when they didn't have any um, in stock, but I found it on Bloomingdale's. I think they did like a last, re no guys, I'm completely lying. I thought Bloomingdale's had it and then it sold out. This actually came straight from Joe Malone. I took it out of that packaging and should have kept it because I almost lost track of my memory here. But this was ordered straight from Joe Malone. They did a restock right kind of at the swoop end of December. And so I got fortunate and got lucky to get it, but it's in a beautiful bottle. It's kind of like a amber kind of color, which goes along, I think with the name Ginger Biscuit. And then the lid is white. I just think it's beautiful. Like even if you didn't spray it, and no, I'm just kidding, don't buy a perfume and not spray it. That's silly. That's like buying a handbag and never carrying it. Don't do that. But it's very sweet, but it also has a very sophisticated, luxurious undertone to it. It is quite different from a lot. And I've honestly, I think I have legit smelled all of the Joe Malone fragrances at one point or the other. And this smells very different from anything they have. It's subtle, but it's also elevated and chic and sophisticated and it's warm and cozy too. But I will tell you, I will 
I'll wear this year round. I do not care that it came out in December. I'll wear this in spring and summer. I, I don't care. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. I have no idea if there are any left. If there are, I will link those for you guys as well. But I will say if there's not, put this on your radar, put this on your wish list and pay attention to see if they bring it back next um, season. If you watched my Atlanta vlog, you may have noticed this Dior book tote. The book tote has been on my radar and on my wish list for years. I have admired it for the fact that it really is like a piece of art and it is iconic to the brand. There's just not been one that I absolutely loved and was ready to pull the trigger on until I saw this one. And if you're not familiar with how the book tote works. There obviously are several different sizes now. When it first came out, there was only the large and that was just too large for me. And then they came out with the various sizes. They have the medium and they have the small. They even have like the mini sizes now. And the thing to really keep in mind with the Dior book tote is that they release new patterns seasonally, but once they are gone, they are gone. Yes, this is a bag that you can get on the pre-loved market and sometimes you can score an absolute killer deal. But for me, this pattern was the one that I absolutely fell in love with. I feel like it's timeless, it's classic, it's one that I am not going to get tired of. It will easily fit into my wardrobe. So therefore it was one that I was not willing to wait on and look at on the pre-loved market. I think that I would recommend the pre-loved market for this one because you can get a good deal, but you know, for me, and if you're in the same boat as I am, if you ever see one seasonally that you just fall in love with the pattern, it is one that I would suggest that you get because you just don't ever know if it truly would show up on the pre-loved market or not. And it is in the medium size because I think it's more versatile. I will be doing a review of this as I have time to utilize the bag as well as a lot of other reviews coming for bags that I need to share with you guys. If there's anything specific you want answered or any questions, anything you wanna know, definitely drop that down below. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you have a lovely and beautiful rest of your week and I hope that you have an amazing 2024. And until next time, leave your lux and I'll see you in the next video.